Vengado Livioso! Vengado Livioso! Vengado Livioso! Doug got it! This is why we do things the old fashioned way. Hey, what is going on guys? It is Vinny Harney here, aka Duane Duende, and welcome to Homeschooled Nerd. So, Harry Potter. It's a very strange part of geek culture, especially when you're taking the tiny niche that I am in, which is, of course, homeschooled geek culture. On one hand, you have the people who say that everything about Harry Potter is totally wrong, and it's evil, and it's satanic, and it's basically, basically, Harry Potter is the devil. But then on the other hand, you have the people who say that those people are the devil, and that Harry Potter is totally fine. Me personally? I don't know. But over the past few years, one of the things I've learned the most is that you really shouldn't judge something before you know about it for yourself. So yeah, in this video I guess I'm gonna be reading the Harry Potter books. But first, let's go ahead and read the back of the book real quick. Harry Potter has never played a sport while flying on a broomstick. He's never worn a cloak of invisibility, befriended a giant, or helped hatch a dragon. All Harry knows is a miserable life with the Dursleys. Yeah, I bet my life would be pretty terrible too if I hadn't done all those things. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah. I'm a wizard. Some evil guy killed my parents and tried to murder me when I was a baby. It's no big deal. I still have this scar on my left butt cheek. But anywho, like I said, I've always had mixed feelings about Harry Potter, so let's go ahead and dive into it, why don't we? Oh no. Just what I was afraid of. Lots and lots of words. I mean, come on, I'm a busy person. I don't have time for all this. Seriously, reading is for the birds. Except, of course, birds can't read. So, there's that. Stupid birds. Man, if only there was some other way that I could, like, experience the same story, like, like a video game. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Where'd this come from? Games don't usually randomly appear out of here. Actually, that's pretty much all the games that we do around here. I wonder why that is. Yeah, man, I was up. Oh no, you diddly don't! No, it's mine! Where'd you get this? I, I don't know. It, it just appeared. It was like magic. There's no such thing! More sorcery! Vingado Livioso! Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Interestingly, there have actually been several Harry Potter games over the years, including eight games coinciding with the film series. The first one, of course, being Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, released in 2001 for the Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Mac, Windows, GameCube, PlayStation, PS2, Xbox. Alright, we get it, Harry! Everyone loves you. You don't have to. You have to go. You don't have to go around rubbing it all the time. Every single, every single game for every single platform. <laughs> Jerk. And the most recent being Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part Two, released in 2011 for Windows, PS3, Xbox 360, the Wii, and the Nintendo DS. Of course, those are just the games based directly on the film and book series. There have also been a few spin-off Harry Potter games, including the Lego games series years one through four and years five through seven, a few augmented reality games, and Harry Potter for the Kinect, which and shapes with what is shown in your instructions. That is correct. Now pour until the potion is the required. Yeah, I'm not even going close to that thing. I mean, that's just, that's a nightmare just waiting to happen. I mean, I know you guys love to see me torture myself here on these videos. It's so fun for you guys, but seriously, if, if torturing myself is like the goal here, I, there are a lot, there are a lot more efficient ways to get this done. So full disclosure here, I honestly know next to nothing about Harry Potter. I've watched the first two films because my girlfriend made me and I threw the book across the lawn early in this video, but that's about it. I'm led to believe, however, that the first few games in the Harry Potter series followed the books more closely than the films. So if I seem a little confused at parts, that's why. Because as I've already established, I'm not gonna read the books, it's just not, it's not gonna happen. So I bet some of you are wondering, Vinny Harned, why are you reviewing this Harry Potter game? 
Well... I have this one. And hey, just look at these features! Confront the mysteries of the Chamber of Secrets with advanced second year magic, challenging quests, and dangerous adversaries. Take flight, hop on your Nimbus 2000, and freely explore Hogwarts. Harry comes alive. His internal voice guides you. I don't know what that means. So the game starts out with Harry Potter and the Weasley boys flying their car to their farmhouse after rescuing Harry from his aunt and uncle. Immediately starting out, already skipping the whole first few scenes of the movie, including the whole Dobby arc, which honestly, I'm okay with. Has presented Dobby with clothes. Uh, yeah. Hate to rain on your parade, Dobby, but that's not clothing, that is a single stock. So after a sound scolding from their mother for taking off with the car, our heroes are sent out to do some denoming. So I bet those of you who haven't attended school of witchcraft and wizardry are wondering, what exactly is denoming? Denoming is actually a pretty simple process. All you need is a simple dueling spell and you'll be taking care of gnomes like no problem. It of course comes from the Greek words de and gnome, and simply means to get rid of your gnomes. The steps are as follows. Step 1. Flipendo your gnome to knock it over. Step 2. Pick up your gnome. Step 3. Toss your gnome out Bowser style. So yeah, pretty simple. Of course, that's if you're a wizard. If you don't know any spells, the process is a little more like this. Man, sure I'm glad we don't have to deal with that too much around here. Also during our time with the Weasleys, we learned a little about dueling. Dueling? The controls of the game are a lot like in 3D Zelda games. You got your targeting button you can dodge, and of course you can cast spells. L targeting on the enemies makes it easy to hit whatever yours you're attacking, which is especially good since aiming is anything but easy. So after defeating the Weasley's washing machine for some reason, we throw all the gnomes out of Mrs. Weasley's garden while the Weasley boys cut us down. That was rubbish! Shut it, jerk face! I threw that one with passion! You've done an excellent job, Harry. I think you deserve a chocolate frog. Thanks. You know, even if it were made entirely out of chocolate, I still could never get myself to eat a chocolate frog. I mean, they're moving. Like, when exactly does that stop? Does the magic stop once you swallowed them, or are they still moving around inside your stomach? Are they like little frog legs just crawling around in the. Oh, I don't even want to think about this. Seriously, everyone talks about these every flavor beans, but I, this is the real thing I'd like to see Harry Potter fans make in real life. <laughs> Is that a chocolate frog? Is that a freaking chocolate frog in my- What's chocolate frog doing in my house? Get that chocolate frog out of my house! So after this, we finish up the day and it's on to Diagon Alley to get ready for our first day back at Hogwarts. They travel by flu, which I assume means they spread like germs, but for some reason we end up trapped inside this room. Seriously, I spent over 15 minutes inside this one room alone before I finally figured out what to do. For starters, things you can interact with don't show up until you're right in front of them. Like, right in front of them. And on top of this, it's not even that obvious which things you're supposed to interact with. So you gotta check every single thing. Except that one, apparently! Guess that's where the Halloween part comes out in this video. Okay, that, that scared me. Good one, video game. Oh yeah, we get it, game. Spooky. Alright, game, this is getting old. Is that all the skill you have for me? Oh no, kill it with fire, kill it with fire. Flamethrowers, get the flamethrowers in here. So after trying everything and losing all my bird saver flavor beans to the freaking grabby hand, I finally found a secret passageway. Once inside, these jerks come in acting very suspicious. But hey, I guess technically I'm breaking and entering right now, so I won't judge too hard. Once they leave, however, we're able to learn a new spell from the book they leave out, allowing us to find the secret exit from the passageway, and we're able to make it out in the Diagon Alley. Ugh, <sighs> my worst nightmare. Boxes. Anywho, once we get to Diagon Alley, we run into Mrs. Weasley and her daughter Ginny who's lost all her school stuff. So of course, we gotta help her. Yay. I think I dropped my brass scales when I passed the fireplace in the magical menagerie. My uh -huh. new quill definitely fell into the back of Gamble and Japes. And I'm sure I saw Hagrid when I lost my spell at uh -huh. So yeah. I think that my magical menagerie, Gamble and Japes and the Leaky Cauldron. Gossip. What was I doing again? Now go on, show us what you can do with your new spells. Uh, okay. 
Back. Is it just me or do these games based on films always revolve around you doing things for other people? There's so much filler just doing random things for people who are too lazy to do it themselves. Seriously, in a matter of 15 minutes this game went from decently fun to tedious and dumb. I mean, come on game, you had something going here. What happened to you? You were almost on a roll. Fighting a washing machine in an epic duel? Fun. Throwing gnomes out in some lady's garden? Kinda fun. Attacking random people with your magic just for the heck of it? Really fun. <laughs> Getting scared for the 15th time by the same laughing skull? Not as fun, but still, pretty fun. But having to find a bunch of random items for some girl who's too lazy to do it herself? Dumb, 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 really dumb. It's really, really dumb and I hate it. Hey look, it's Hagrid. Ow. Oh, sorry dude, that, that, that was meant for somebody else. Did I tell you, I've been having a bit of trouble lately with flesh-eating slugs. No. There's more than butterbeer down in the cellar, you know, Mr. Potter. No, I have no idea what you're talking about, but, uh, thank you, I guess? So after 30 minutes of tedious exploration of this barely designed city, I found all but one of Jane's school things. The last one ended up being in this guy's monster store, but unfortunately, he doesn't want any kids around. And since it apparently is too hard for me, like, listen, man, there's a thing in your store that some girl dropped in your chimney. Could, could you, like, go get it for me? Or, sir? Sir? What are you, what are you doing, sir? If I'm careful, I should be able to creep past him. You were saying? And don't come back. Don't worry, I won't. Now, I'm certainly no expert on stealth games, but it seems to me like every good stealth game or a stealth segments in games that are well designed, like Zelda, you always have a certain gimmick to it. In Metal Gear, you have your cardboard box. In Zelda, you got your locked camera, which allows you to see everything that's going on. In both cases, it gives you the control you need to be able to succeed. When you get caught, it feels like you screwed up because you weren't sneaky enough, or you ran in before you should have. But in this game, it's more like, oh, you got caught, did you? Guess you should have known that he would turn around even though he was clearly walking the other way. What the heck, game? Man, this is giving me flashbacks. Oh, please go. Go right. Go right. Do not go straight. Go right. <laughs> no! Uh, this could be it. Maybe he's gonna go. Maybe he's gonna uh, go the other way. Come on, man. I mean, oh. Yes! Yes! Oh, what? You're going that way? This game throws so many random types of gameplay segments. All throughout it, you've got your RPG style, which is decent to play overall, but then you've got terribly programmed flying segments, platforming segments, and of course, the stealth segments. Okay, explain to me how that was fair. Give me some warning before you just completely switch up the gameplay. The bad news is this is a pretty prominent part of this game. I mean, it makes sense. Harry Potter is pretty famous for stinging out, so it's understandable that stealth segments would make sense, but you know what? It's not fun. So after finding all Genie's stuff and taking out my rage on everything and everyone in my path, <laughs> wait, what was that? I uh, I think she likes it. But hey, I'm never flipping on myself, so maybe it's more fun than it looks. I guess don't judge who you tried. Oh. That's probably not good. So, up next, we need to get some books from the store for ourselves. Fortunately, I was able to steal some money from this jerk store, which enables me to pay for them no problem. Also, Mrs. Weasley invites us to go meet some popular dude. Like, I don't know. Harry's a little hesitant for some reason, don't really know why. I mean, just look how glad this guy is to see us. No, surely not. It is. It's Harry Potter! <laughs> Up. Oh, also we run into this kid, and turns out I was wrong to go easy on him because it turns out he's a real jerk. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter's got a girlfriend. Screw you. Where's your girlfriend? Suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Oh, this guy's clearly trustworthy. We've only just now met him, and he's already cutting down his family because they're poor. What a jerk. I mean, come on, man, they can't help that they're not rich like you. Besides, she may be poor, but at least she has freaking eyes, man. Like, what, what even is going on with that? Get, get it together, man. What, you think you expect me to tr tr take someone seriously when you don't have any eyes? It's really hard to take anyone seriously when you don't have any eyes. Like, just, just, you, maybe maybe go see an optometrist about it. I don't know. I don't, I don't mean to judge. Maybe you have some kind of medical condition. I'm sorry to all the people in the world who don't have eyes. 
you know, it's just, it's just really annoying when someone cuts you down just even when, when they don't even have eyes, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it's, it's a really hard thing to deal with. Here, girl, take this one. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. But I don't need this book. You will take it anyway, girl. Don't take books from strangers, kids. Moving on, after this, Ron comes and lets us know, whoa, our train has already left. Thanks a lot, Genie. But fortunately, we still have our flying car. So that's good. Except this tree doesn't appreciate it very much and tries to murder us. Screw you, nature. Then Ronnie Boy gets stuck in a tree, so we gotta climb down and rescue him, which is pretty tedious process, not gonna lie. Go, get, shoot this, climb that, is that a wolf? Better kill it. Hey bird, have a thing. Go, get, and it's a tree. Fight tree, get killed by tree, because his branches cover way too big an area, and there's no possible way you can dodge it fast enough. Go take a walk, contemplate the meaning of life, call your ex. Get arrested for loitering. Guess you should have read the sign that was there. Yeah. That's pretty much the process. So I finally beat the stupid tree which makes this guy mad. But you know what? I don't even care. I'm the one playing this game. I'm Harry Potter. I'm the chosen one. Not you, nor you, and as sure as heck ain't you. This entire school is mine. If I want to sneak out, I can do what I want. Oh, what? You, you, you need help? You, you, need, you need my help? What do you need me to do? We need a severing charm. And where am I going to find one of those at this time of night? Herbology Greenhouse 3 in the grounds. Except, to get in, you're going to have to find out how to pull up hawk lumps. If you go to the library, there's an excellent book by Professor Lockhart. That'll tell Listen, you I'm not your servant. I mean, I can't just go around getting stuff for everyone. I've, I've got important stuff to do, but, but fine. I'll, I'll go out and... Oh. Oh, no. Of all the worst possible things. No, not the books! <sighs> how could this happen to me? Okay, I just got killed by books. I, I just got killed by. I just killed the guy. I just got killed by books. Can, can you even believe what? What even is this game? You know what? You know what? Harry Potter, you've taught me some things, but one of those things has not been the appreciation of books. So far, we've had two bad experiences with books already. You know, I'm getting the feeling that these books aren't too hot. I gotta get out of here. I can't be dealing with books. You just, I gotta get back to doing some more video game stuff. I, I gotta get out of here. Hey guys, check out some of my other videos and subscribe.